The Maine legislature is expecting to work into the night again. Yeah, they're hoping to wrap up by tomorrow night, but now even that's in jeopardy. New Center Maine's Don Kerrigan joins us from the State House. Don, what seems to be holding them up? Well, of course, they always get held up at the last uh, in the last week or so because there's just so much work. But the two big things are one, just the sheer number of bills they're still trying to deal with and get get moved through the process. And second, uh, the budget. Uh, the budget is the biggest thing the legislature does, and that's also delaying uh, delaying them. But the number of bills, uh, as of I believe Monday of last week. They still had a thousand bills to deal with. I was told a few minutes ago that number is down to about 500 now, but it takes time to move all of those through to deal with them, debates if they have them, votes in the two chambers, so it all takes time. And they had originally hoped to adjourn tomorrow night. Uh, nobody is saying no in so many words, but it uh, is seeming rather unlikely that they'll be finished by tomorrow night. Don, excuse me, it sounds like the budget is kind of one of the big issues here. Is something delaying the budget decisions? Well, the, the budget's always the biggest and most difficult, most complex, and arguably the most important thing that they do. You recall back at the end of March, uh, the Democratic majority pushed through what they call a part one budget for, uh, for current services and programs. Uh, that was pushed through with just Democratic votes. Now they're doing the part two budget which is money for new or expanded programs. And that has about $900 million in uh, new spending as a result of an expected revenue surplus over the next two years. Uh, very complicated, lots of parts uh, and lots of different interests that want a piece of that funding. Uh, there's differences between the two parties. Republicans want to see a piece of that money uh, used for tax breaks for people who continued working during the pandemic. Um, uh, other people have their priorities. There's also money for nursing homes. We'll mention that again in a moment, uh, that the, the Mills administration has money for nursing homes, but then legislators are in the process of passing bills that would require additional money. So all of that has to get factored into the budget. Don, a lot of important things up in the air, but any major decisions made today on any of that? Well, uh, every decision is major to somebody in there, correct? Uh, but the, uh, the House uh, vote gave final passage this morning to a bill that we mentioned actually last night in a report on uh, direct care workers needing a pay raise. Uh, that bill also has strong support in the Senate waiting final passage. It would give a pay raise and a, and a permanent uh, COLA cost of living adjustment uh, to those workers uh, so that they can get above minimum wage. Uh, the Senate voted for a bill today to increase funding for nursing homes, even beyond what the Mills administration is proposing. Um, so uh, there are those bills. Among the big ones yet to come, we're told that sometime tonight, the first vote in the House is likely to come on that pine tree power bill very controversial to create a consumer-owned electric utility to take over from Central Maine Power and Versant. That's still to come, obviously the budget and uh, a host of other bills. Uh, and one other thing I might mention, they also need to vote on kind of a separate budget, which is the plan to use all of the federal money for, through the American Recovery Act coming from the federal government, COVID relief dollars, just over a billion dollars there all of those proposals also have to be th approved by the Appropriations Committee and the full legislature. One more big thing that they need to get through in the final days. Back to you. All right, Don Kerrigan, live in Augusta. Thank you, Don.